It finally looks like we're coming to the end of the greatest pandemic since influenza. But for lots of women, COVID isn't going anywhere yet. Endocrinologists and gynecologists are increasingly faced with five specific female symptoms. These signs have something in common, a past COVID infection. If you're affected by any of the upcoming signs, please share your experiences in the comments section after the video. And if you like how we put our information across, click on the thumbs up. Coming up, we'll show you how to claim a female-friendly free gift created for health-conscious women like you. But now, let's focus on COVID-related hormonal signs, ones medical specialists are encountering across our wonderful world. Or at least, let's try to focus. Sign number five, loss of focus. Do you feel scattered? Put things down and forget where you left them? It's easy to put loss of focus down to stress, age, and the time of the month. But if you've dealt with a COVID infection, it's worth focusing on. We all lose focus sometimes. So many things distract us. Busy lifestyles, mobile devices, multitasking, responsibilities. Does COVID make a difference? Coronavirus enters cells via a specific protein. That protein is a receptor most of our cell membranes have. That receptor is a COVID virus door. Only when COVID is inside a cell can it multiply. The receptor connects to an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme 2, or ACE2. Most types of cells use it, some more than others. Lung cells use lots of ACE2, so it's no coincidence that COVID attacks the airways. Did you know women are less likely to develop severe COVID symptoms than men? We can thank estrogen for that. Estrogen slows down cell responses to ACE2, so COVID infection develops at a slower rate. Female immune cells have more time to work than male immune cells. Male hormones speed up ACE2 responses. What's this got to do with lack of focus? The primary form of estrogen, estradiol, helps concentration and memory. If our brains don't get enough estradiol, we lose focus. When estradiol is busy with a COVID attack, less is available for the rest of the body. Of course, many factors cause focus problems. The more of our signs you have, the more you can suspect COVID-induced hormonal imbalance. Sign four is all about thyroid hormone. Sign four, heart palpitations. Parts of the body most affected by COVID are parts that use the most ACE2. Their cells have more ACE2 receptors, parts like the lungs and the thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland produces metabolism regulating thyroid hormones. The more energy your body needs, the more thyroid hormones you make. Your metabolism speeds up. Hospitals in Italy measured how many COVID patients developed thyroid disorders. The result, 30%. The thyroid gland contains more ACE2 using cells than the lungs, so it's a prime target. Usually, COVID makes this gland work harder. We call this hyperthyroidism. The link is so strong, doctors call the disorder COVID-related thyroiditis. Heart palpitations are a very distinct sign of hyperthyroidism. A fast metabolism means cells need more energy. The heart works extra hard to send them more oxygen and nutrients. You can hear your heart beating and feel it race in your throat, but those aren't palpitations. 20% of those Italian patients with COVID-related thyroiditis developed another hyperthyroid symptom, atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a quivering irregular heartbeat or heart palpitations. We also experience palpitations when anxious or afraid, but mood swings and anxiety are also symptoms of hyperthyroidism. So check all these signs because hormones are very interdependent. When one's upset, others follow suit. Sign three, irregular menstrual cycle. Women are more susceptible to long COVID. A recent study reported that nearly 83% of long COVID sufferers are female. These women are not always menopausal. The average age of women in this study was 46 and a half. Interestingly, over 60% noticed their long COVID symptoms got worse in the days before their period. That's when our sex hormones are at their lowest levels. 
Doctors know COVID infections often disrupt the menstrual cycle, even long after recovery. We've also seen how COVID dilutes the effect of estrogen in other organs. But does COVID do the same to progesterone? The truth is, we're not sure. Scientists do know we need progesterone to make estrogen. Progesterone doesn't slow ACE2 absorption. Progesterone does block male hormones. And new studies show progesterone stops the COVID virus multiplying inside the cell. When progesterone makes estrogen, fights inflammation, and stops COVID multiplication, there's less to guide our menstrual cycle, which is worrying. Perhaps worrying enough to push up your blood pressure. Or is that a sign of COVID hormone interference too? Sign two, increased blood pressure. The answer is yes. Hypertension is also a COVID side effect. We develop high blood pressure for all kinds of reasons, but if you're recovering from COVID, that virus might be the culprit. The Obelix study is trying to understand why the cardiovascular system is so badly affected by COVID-19. Doctors observed COVID patients with normal blood pressure at hospital admission. These patients experienced a nine point blood pressure increase, even at 12 weeks after recovery. In the United States, female COVID patients have the highest blood pressure readings. Visit your doctor if you experience hypertension and the next sign after COVID. Before we find out what that is, it's time to claim your free gift. It's not about COVID-19, but it is about women's health. We are the women's wellness channel after all. Open the description and click on the link. We'll send you your free copy of 25 energy boosting superfoods for women. The powerful, nutritious foods in our ebook protect your body in so many ways, and they definitely alleviate our final sign. Sign one, increased blood sugar. A study in Sweden tested morning and evening cortisol levels in over 1,600 people. Women produced the highest levels across the board. This might explain why the American Psychological Association says women suffer from chronic stress more than men. Cortisol is the stress hormone. Any COVID infection is a very stressful situation. Cortisol has many functions, but most important are regulation of stress, metabolism, immunity, and glucose. It's this last function that drives sugar levels up. Cortisol stimulates the liver to make sugar, because when the body is under stress, it uses more energy. Diabetes UK states that virus-induced inflammation is a cause of insulin resistance. Our cells need insulin to absorb sugar. The more insulin resistant we are, the less sugar our cells absorb, and the more sugar remains in our blood. That's the definition of type 2 diabetes. COVID also attacks the pancreas, where ACE2 hungry beta cells make insulin. Not being able to make enough insulin or insulin resistance makes blood sugar rise. But there's good news. Long COVID doesn't last forever. Our hormones just need time to get back into balance. You can help them recover through positive lifestyle changes. We hope you've learned a little more about COVID and your hormones. Ring the notification bell to stay in touch and please share your personal COVID signs with other viewers. Have a healthy, energizing, balanced day.